All right, today I want to talk about how you can use the .env package to manage environmental variables when setting up a node server. All right, I have my basic node.js file here. I'm going to be building a web server. I'm requiring the HTTP package, which is our module, which is built into node. But I want to use .env, this other package, so that I can create a whole bunch of environmental variables. I keep those local to me. I don't have to put those into Git. I, I shouldn't be saving them in my Git package. I don't want those to be transferred or sent to somebody else. I might have database passwords or something like that inside of there. So inside of here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my node package. So we'll do npm init. There we go. I've created my package.json file. And inside of my dependencies, I've added .env. Now, to do this, what we had to do was just simply install. So we'll say npm install .env. That's the package. Now, I'd previously done this in this folder, but doing it again doesn't hurt anything. So we have .env saved as a dependency inside my package.json file. OK, that means I can access it from inside of here. And the one line that we need to add, we're going to require the .env module. And then we're going to call its config method. This method is the one that's going to go off and read our environmental variables file and save all those variables. So when this script runs, it will have access to all of those through something called process.env. whatever the name of the variable is. So let's create a file that's going to save these. Now we can call the file anything we want. And if we have a, a special name or a path or a location for it, we can specify that here. We can say path and then path and the file name like that, wrapped in quotation marks, obviously. But if we don't want to have that inside of there, so I'll just leave that as a comment, we can just create the default which is a file called .env. Now this is just a text file, but with the .dot um, file name, this is something that by default wouldn't be served up by a web server. It's sort of a, a visual indication that this should remain as a hidden file. Inside of here, I'm going to create a variable called host, and we'll set that to localhost. That's the name of my host. And we'll say port is going to be 1234. OK, so that's saved. Now inside this file, I have two variables, host and port, which I can use inside of here. So it'd be something like this, process.env.port. And that's what this config command is going to do. It's going to go and get those for us. Now, when I create my server, and we've got our request and response objects in our function here, we'll just uh, console log and I'll send back some plain text. Okay, so I quickly jumped through that. Now what we're going to add is our listen command. And that's going to be on our server. Now we can chain it to the end of here if we want. I just like to write it separately. Now here, port and hostname, the first two things that we can pass into this method, I'm going to get them from here. And just to simplify this, I'm going to create a variable called port, and that will be equal to process.env.port. And this is what having this .env allows us to do. Just very quickly and easily, we've got one location that's secure, that's going to hold all of our environmental variables. Okay, there we have it. There's the two variables. Now I can put port, I can put host, and our callback function to say that we are listening, that the server has started. And if I use backtick characters instead of the other ones, I can actually embed inside of here. There's my host and my port variable. Okay, so to recap, we created our package.json by initializing the package. We installed 
the .env package. We created our env file where we put our variables and then we can access those variables through process.env. whatever the variable name is. Then you can use those throughout your code. And if we start our server, oh, I've got a typo here. Great server not defined. Of course it's not defined because it's inside of the HTTP package that we required up here. You've probably been screaming at me this whole time to fix that. Okay. There we go. So listening on localhost 1234. So the variables are clearly getting through here like that. There we have the two variables that came from our env file. And if I jump over to the server, refresh, there we go. There is the server up and running. And if you want the link, I'll provide this link to the package. You can take a look through the documentation here. If you want to learn a little bit more, there's a few other options that you can add. I'll add this link to the description and I will also add a link to this file with this code saved inside of it. If you have any questions, feel free to put those in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.